<clears throat> Excuse me. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I just realized that I left my drink over there. Damn. Um, and I also just realized that I have this glaring pink headband on. And I'm not doing this on purpose because I was going to show you <laughs> Val's new pink Val slides. I really did not plan to be this coordinated. Although it does look kind of cute. Um, anyway, I had this. Sometimes lately when I shoot a vlog, I have these, this moment of awareness that helps me kind of snap out of it and, and make myself become better. Um, and I want to like rush over, turn my camera on and share it with you guys. Cause I guess I hope if something's really helping me kind of snap out of something that's been holding me back, it'll help you or help one of you. And I firmly believe that people, the, the people that grow and become the most successful are those that can really, what's that quote? I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna blow it and say the wrong thing, um, about an unexamined life. I'm gonna have to look that up, because of course now that I want to reference it, I can't think of it. Um, but the whole point being that you can really only grow if you're, if you're willing to look at yourself objectively, take constructive criticism from the people, give yourself constructive criticism, be able to look at yourself, whether it's weight loss or your job or your relationship or whatever, and see, you know, where can I do better? Where am I being, you know, a jerk? Where am I being stubborn? Um, et cetera, et cetera. And the, the more that you have the ability to do that, the more that you have the ability to be humble as a person and say you're sorry, as opposed to never thinking that you're wrong, um, you will grow more in your relationships, you'll grow more in your life, you'll become a better person. If you remain stubborn and think that you can't ever say you're sorry, ever say you're wrong, ever say that you didn't know something, um, guess what? You're still gonna be the same person 10 years from now. I see it all the time. And I always say, as much as I'm, I'm glad that I've become a person. I used to be that stubborn person. I used to be the person that could never say they were wrong. I used to be the person that, you know, would point their finger and go, look at that person, look at that person, and never pointed at myself. Um, I've made changes. I've made a lot of changes. And it's only when I've made changes that I've made progress, frankly. Um, I think that Pride is a horrible thing when you're so proud that you can't either say you're sorry or you can't be willing to go, I've got to find a way to get better. Um, when you think that you can't become better, when you think that, you know, it, I mean, you could translate this to anything, whether it's fitness, whether it's your job, whether it's, again, your relationships, whether it's anything. Um, but one of the things that I've realized this year, I've, I've really come far this year with a lot of stuff. Um, transitioning into paleo and really, um, I, I hate to say getting strict with my diet because that suggests something that I don't want to suggest, which is being on a diet. I'm, I'm eating a certain way to be healthy. It's an eating approach. So sometimes I hesitate to say that, but I have, I've gotten much better in what I'm eating. Um, eating that's going to, in a way that's going to fuel my workouts, not trying to starve myself because I'm so obsessed with losing weight, um, anything like that. I've come a long way in um, calming down, you know, getting, um, instead of, again, always focusing on, how can I lose weight fast? How can I get back in my, you know, size six jeans fast immediately? Um, kind of chilling out and, and becoming nicer to myself, yada, yada, yada. So I'm pretty proud of the progress that I've made this year, and I certainly still have a lot of work to do. I'll always have work to do. Um, nobody ever reaches perfection, and so I hope my goal is to always have that attitude of, you know, how can I become a better person? How can I become a better friend? How can I become a better CEO of my business? How can I um, do this or be more productive or become a better public speaker? All the things. Why can't? Why would you not want to strive to be better? I don't get it. But you know, in my fitness journey. You, you've got to be able to, most of us, if you're frustrated with, with your results and you're angry that you haven't made strength gains or, um, you know, weight loss gains or um, you've got whatever it is, you, you have to be willing to like turn that light on yourself and go, what am I doing? Instead of doing what is human nature, which is to go, must be my hormones, oh, must be my age. Oh, you know, it must be that um, I don't have time in my schedule. It must be that I'm a busy mom, you know. We're always finding excuses. And what finally really struck me today as I was starting to make excuses is excuses, so many things that we might not even think, 
are excuses, are excuses. And at the end of the day, it's excuses that will get in our way. Excuses in addition to fear and doubt. Those are, I think, three three of the biggest things. Um, and probably if you're making excuses, it's because of fear and doubt. And it wasn't until I recognized how much fear and doubt um, was invading my life and keeping me from doing things that I decided to face fear and doubt whenever I um, realize that it's creeping into my life. And every time I, I sense fear and doubt coming in, then I'm like, oh crap. I'm being fearful again. I'm being a wimp again. I'm doubting myself again. I'm not going to doubt myself. And that's when I start to do things. Um, if I didn't face fear and doubt, I never would have quit my job. I would never be running Fitfluential. We would never be doing the amazing things that we're doing. And I'm damn proud of what I do. And I'm damn proud of my people. And I'm damn proud of just the whole idea of, of taking a leap of faith when I knew there was a very, 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 very good possibility that I was going to fall flat on my face and not do anything. And that the whole world could have been like, see, I told you. Yeah, now you don't have a job. Um, <laughs> but I, I did it and I've been rewarded for it. And now I want to keep getting better. But I was when I was speaking at the NA10 Fitness uh, Conference, I, I remember somebody, we were doing this exercise and we were talking about, you know, what, I don't even remember what it was. It was, but was talking to two or three people and this thing about doubt and fear came in and I was like this might sound really simple but in a way it is um, it doesn't mean it's easy but it is simple the second that you start realizing that you are doubting yourself or fearing that you can't do it fearing that you're fail fail that's when you really have to dive into whatever it is that you are fearing or doubting or being insecure about and do it and it's easier said than done obviously but that's what happens in my life. Whenever I start to go, oh, I can't do this, I can't do this, that's when I know I have to do it. Because once you dive in and do something that you're scared of, that you think you can't do, and you do it, it's the best feeling in the world. And then that opens up doors for you to do so much else, um, so many other things in your life. Is that even a word, so much else? Probably not. <laughs> Incorrect use of the word. So I thought about as I'm pulling out, you know, my vow slides, I've got my workout stuff on. Um, I'm, at, I'm still in Baltimore and I'm at Fit Blogging. I'm speaking in a couple hours. Um, so I just had my lunch and, you know, I was getting my vow slides out, my vow bands. And one of the things that annoyed me um, yesterday, what time am I at? It's seven minutes, 28 seconds. Um, when I was going to do my workout yesterday, it's either yesterday or the day before. But I pulled out my stuff and I pulled out my, where is it, my printouts of Val's uh, Action Hero Babe workout. And I pulled everything out I'm like, oh man, I didn't pack my resistance bands or, you know, I didn't pack my TRX this time. And I remember, you know, I was in a hurry and I didn't pack it and of course, lucky me, when we went and got our gift bags, I got some resistance bands. So I scored, but immediately when I'm starting to get ready to do my workout, my, my brain started going, oh, I don't have everything. I don't have the perfect setup here. I don't have, you know, I've got my valve slides and I've got this. I can't do that. I can't do that part of the, the circuit. And immediately this brain is going, you shouldn't just, you know, forget it. You don't have the stuff today. Don't, you know, it's no big deal. Just eat right. Don't do your workout, but you know, just eat right. Because why? This is really essentially what I'm saying is I'm realizing I'm just making excuses. I'm still in, in my brain going, I didn't work out yesterday and now I don't have all the perfect stuff to work out so I might as well just not work out and then I'll really start hard on Monday. Those stupid thought processes, they have absolutely no, they make no sense. That still is what I tend to do. So in my opinion, the, one of the number one things that I need to do the last quarter of this year to really uh, finish making progress and kicking ass is I'm doing great on my eating. Um, what still tends to fall by the wayside is that I let my schedule get in the way, I let travel get in the way, and I make excuses for not getting my workout done, which is dumb on two reasons. Number one, there's no reason that you can't do something, which I'm gonna illustrate that in a second. Number two, um, Oh God, what was the second point I was going to make? Um, because it is just an excuse and I love to work out. So it's so stupid for me to go, oh, let's just not work out. I freaking love working out. Why? I'm, not, I'm not one of those people that doesn't want to, you know, if I could only do the treadmill, I probably would say, oh, I got to get on the treadmill. I freaking love working out. I love kickboxing. I love yoga. 
I can't say I've done as much Pilates, but I love kickboxing, I love yoga, I love um, CrossFit style workouts. Haven't been to my official CrossFit box, but I've done, you know, um, the traveling wad, I've done Zuzana's, you know, CrossFit, what I would call CrossFit style. I love functional training, I love circuit training, I love hit. I love Tabata, I love all that stuff. So it's stupid for me to be finding a way to not do it um, because I like to do it, why would I not do it? But I'm still finding a way and it's usually at the end of the day when I'm tired and the devil is inside me going, don't do it. If I really want to make progress the rest of this year, my diet is fine. For the, you know, I don't want to say I'm being perfect, but pretty much nailing the diet down, I need to amp up my workouts, period. It still is the thing that has been inconsistent. It still is the thing that I'm letting work get in the way. Um, so the big thing that I need to do is I need to be able to recognize when I'm bullshitting myself. And that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. That's what 10 minutes of this babbling has been about. The more that you can step back and recognize what you're doing and going, this is what's, this is what's stopped me in the past. I, I keep thinking everything has to be perfect. I keep thinking like in the past, if I bought a book and it was Body for Life or if it was, um, you know, Joe Dowdell's book or, or this book or that, oh, well, I can't, I can't really do this because I don't have, um, you know, that version of coconut oil. So I really can't start till Monday. I mean, at the end of the day, you're just making excuses so that you can put things off. Um, and I have done that, that whole idea of I'm spending too much time getting started to get started. You know, I think I have to have all the equipment. Everything's got to be in the perfect place. I have to have the right shoes. I have to have the right hair. I've got to have the right amount of time. Or it's not. It's all or nothing. Okay, I'm still doing that. I'm, I started to do that right now, which is why I stopped to share this babylon -a -thon with you, um, which is really just... You guys, you have to be able to be willing to look at yourself. <sighs> Sorry, dumb email. You have to be willing to look at yourself in a really harsh light and go, what are you doing? Seriously? Like, look at yourself as if you're in, in third person and go, seriously, what are you making excuses for? Because if somebody else came to you, like if somebody else came to me and said, Kelly, you know, I can't, you know, I was going to do my workout in my room, but all I had were my valve bands and my valve slides. I didn't have resistance bands. Really? You're saying you can't work at your upper body? What about push-ups? What about inverted push-ups? What about walls push-ups? What about dips? What about, I mean, and don't even test me. I could keep going on and on and on. Stop making excuses. Does that mean that you can't do anything? And what I did that day was I started off with 100 walking lunges back and forth in my room. You're looking at my hotel room. It's not that big. I did 100 walking lunges back and forth. Um, I did a lower body circuit. I did push-ups. I did dips. And now I'm going to do my own version of this circuit. You know, there still has been times this week where this brain, this stupid brain, is making excuses going, you're really not doing it 100%. You're not perfect. And you know, you missed that one day. So let's just write off this week. And let's just start really good on Monday. The thing is, it's very easy to do that you know, the first week of the month, and then you do, you have an okay week the next week, and then you kind of screw up the next month, and then you, then you look back, and it's been three months, and you're like, oh, well, wait, I, oh, I was gone that 10 days, and I didn't work out there, and then I didn't work out there, and again, you, you probably don't intend to do it, but it's very easy for a day to turn into a week, and a week to turn into a month, and then all of a sudden, you're like, wow, I worked out three times in the past six weeks. That's how you start turning into everybody else in America that just makes excuses, ex Mix excuses. You have to be willing to like say to yourself, cut the crap. You know, if you don't have all, if I don't have all of my equipment here, big deal. There's a lot that I can do to get a workout in. I have plenty of time. I can do my workout. I can shoot this Babylonathon. I can share my thoughts with you. Um, and then whatever, you know, you still have time. And I guess what I'm saying is the best thing you can do, the best thing you can do to make progress in your job, in your life, especially in your fitness, is stop. Um, you know, be kind to yourself, encourage yourself. On one hand, we want to be you know, positive, right? And, and positive thoughts and all that. But you've got to be willing to just say to yourself, cut the crap. You know, there is no reason that you can't do something. There is no re Oh, you didn't bring your workout clothes? Oh, give me a break. Nobody's watching you. Do it in your own, uh, your sleep clothes or your sweats or whatever. The more that you keep making excuses, one day is going to turn into too many, and then too many is going to turn into too many months, and then, then you're really behind. So um, that's my Babylon for today. I need to Babylon on is what I meant. That's, uh, yeah, I got to go. Because I want to get my workout in, I've got to shower so that I don't scare people like this and be all sweaty and disgusting when I talk. Also, one last thing, because you might see this little box back here. I have to tell you, I was so bold. Oh, and this, again, was not planned to be color-coordinated, I swear. 
but Reebok has all of these new shoes out, and I've showed you guys the shoes before, but I saw some people wearing this color, and I went up to my Reebok friends, and I'm like, can I, can I just be bold? Can I just really, I, and tell you, I really want this color. Like, I'm very thankful and very grateful when I get any kind of free product, and I will never continue, not, what's the word I'm saying? I will never, ever not be grateful for anything, but this was one where I'm like, I have to ask for this color, seriously. It's not so awesome. In fact, <laughs> so cheesy. I'm gonna have to talk to Valerie about these. Valerie, wouldn't these be perfect? <laughs> right now, there is somebody who's going to watch this going, I can't believe the Kelly Alexa. Oh, she's so stupid. She actually thinks you need to match your stuff to your equipment. Go nutty. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>